and welcome to Natural World Facts. I'm Leo and today I'll be talking about ecosystems. Okay, so first of all, just what is an ecosystem? Well, an ecosystem is a complete community of living organisms and the non-living materials of their surroundings. This includes plants, animals, microorganisms and their environments such as soil, rocks and minerals. An ecosystem also consists of the local atmosphere. Animals and plants within an ecosystem depend on each other for their survival. If conditions change, they need to adapt quickly to survive. Ecosystems can be a variety of different sizes ranging from an entire rainforest to a small puddle or your garden. Even an animal could be considered an ecosystem, being home to thousands of microorganisms. But some of the much larger examples, such as deserts, tundra, forests or coral reefs, are called biomes. In each of these, the animals and plant life depend on each other in different ways. Herbivores will rely on the plants, also called producers, as a food source, and the carnivorous animals will eat those herbivores. This is called a food chain, and when all the food chains in an ecosystem are joined up, it's known as a food web. But what would happen if one of the species in the food web started to decline? For example, rabbits, slugs and insects all eat grass. If there were fewer slugs, there would be more grass for the insects and rabbits. With more food, the population of rabbits and insects would increase. However, the thrushes, which prey on the insects and slugs, would have to eat more insects to compensate for the fewer slugs in their diet. This would reduce the population of insects. OK, so what are the different components of an ecosystem? Well, there are two different types of components, the abiotic factors and the biotic factors. The abiotic factors are the non-living components which make up the environment of the ecosystem such as the amount of sunlight, the amount of rainfall, the temperature, or how much moisture there is in the air. The biotic factors of an ecosystem, on the other hand, are the living features, such as the producers, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, and detrivores. These living features are also the main components of a food chain, the producers being the plants at the bottom, which are then eaten by the herbivores, which are then eaten by the carnivores. Ecosystems also go through a number of processes they have energy flows and also cycle materials. The energy is first consumed by the plants through photosynthesis and is converted to heat energy. The animals in an ecosystem also obtain elements such as carbon, nitrogen or phosphorus from their environment. These materials are later excreted or broken down by decomposers from the animal's corpse. Decomposers and scavengers help to break down dead animals and plants and their excrement. They're very important for all ecosystems. If they didn't exist, the plants wouldn't get their essential nutrients, and all the dead matter and waste would pile up, meaning that none of the energy or materials would be cycled through the ecosystem. Thank you for watching Natural World Facts. See you next time.